Hey YouTubers, today I'm going to benchmark GTA 4 on my GTX 295 video card from EVGA. I'm going to show you how it runs too. Alright, I started the game up. I got an Intel Core i7. 965 running at 3.2 gigahertz no overclocking let me go into the options show you how I got it set up okay video I'm running at 1680 by 1050 texture quality high whatever that is very high water quality very high whatever that is high render quality highest view distance set at 25 I'll show you why it's so low in a little bit all the rest of them at max vertical sync is on for some reason GTA 4 does not pick up the full 1700 megabytes of video memory on board the GTX 295 it only shows 875 I have no reason why that is anyway let's uh run the benchmark I'll show you what it's like there loading up I have no reason why it does that either flickers for some reason maybe because I'm using beta drivers the newest ones Alrighty, average frames per second are at, oh, auto scroll, <laughs> let me go back up there, average frames per second, 63, CPU usage, 37, system memory, video memory usage, 98%, like I said before, it only uses 800 and some, some reason it don't pick up the dual GPUs on the video card. I need to update that. Here's my computer specs. You can see I do not have it overclocked. Let's load it up and play a little bit. Alright, you gotta forgive me here, I'm playing with one hand. 
So I'm using the other to hold the camera. I don't have a tripod yet. This is one of my favorite games. I can just drive around like this all day. <laughs> I can get out of here. the water quality. That is amazing. Oops, I died. Got one minute left. As you can see, it plays pretty good. I just wish it would pick up all the memory. <laughs> that way I can crank the view distance all the way up. GTA benchmarking and playing video. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. <laughs>